Once the organization has been provisioned, you'll get an email notification that your evaluation is ready to use. Let's go back to the wizard and move on to configuring access routing. This allows you to configure access to your endpoint either internally or externally. Internal limits access to the Apogee endpoint to VMs in your GCP project. This is the internal load balancer. External allows access to your APIs over the public internet through the configuration of a global load balancer with a public static IP address. Let's select external. Now we have options to configure the host name. If you don't have access to a DNS registry and have an existing domain, you can use a wildcard DNS service like nip.io, which will automatically create a host name based on the external IP address of the GOB. I do have an existing domain, apogeex.net, so I'll specify my host name. Then once the GOB external IP address is known, I'll configure a DNS record pointing to the host name of that external IP. Next I'll select my network. I can specify, I can bring my own certificates or let Google manage my certificates by skipping this section. Let's take that approach as it's the easiest and quickest. This will take a few minutes to complete and you can see the components that are being created in the wizard. Once that completes, we can continue. The wizard prompts us to create a DNS record for our host name pointing to the global load balancer static IP address. We can do that in Google domains. I select my domain, my DNS, manage custom reports, and create my API eval with the host name and save. Note that even after configuring external access, it will take about 5 or 10 minutes for the DNS entry and the Google Managed Certificates to be propagated. Once that happens, we can test our end-to-end -end con connectivity. Great! We got a Hello Guest from the Hello World proxy that was provisioned by Apogee to test our end-to-end -end setup. Now, we can go back to the Apogee console and begin creating our own proxies.